Hello ladies and gentlemen, guys and ghouls. My name's Kevin, and welcome to my channel, The Art of Horror. Today's episode is brought to you by the letter X for Xenomorph. I remember the first time that I ever saw a Xenomorph very clearly, as I saw the alien before I actually saw the movie. Years before, in fact, my older cousin had one of the original models from the movie. He also had a model of the Nostramo as well, and I was fascinated by both these models as a probably five or six year old. I actually clearly remember looking very closely at this alien model and looking through its translucent canopy at the human-like skull within. The sheer detail of this creature just sucking me in and, uh, and appealing to my imagination. I first saw the movie Alien when I was probably about 11 or 12 years old. And that's when I made the connection between this creature that my cousin had and uh, this creature that I was seeing on the screen. Alien, of course, is a 1979 science fiction horror film directed by Ridley Scott and starring Sigourney Weaver and Tom Skerritt, with a fantastic screenplay by the great Dan O'Bannon. The film actually won an Academy Award for Best Visual Effects. And rightly so, as the design of the Xenomorph by uh, the great H.R. Geiger. H.R. Geiger's paintings are absolutely incredible with a phenomenal amount of detail. And his fantastic skill with an airbrush uh, really opened my eyes. H.R. Geiger unfortunately passed away in 2014. But has left behind a vast volume of work with many film designs, set designs and creature designs. Forever leaving his imprint in the film and art world. H.R. Geiger of course not only designed the Xenomorph but also its life cycle. Which goes from egg to face hugger to chest burster. And then growing very quickly into what we know as the Xenomorph. The word Xenomorph literally translates from the Greek as strange form. The appearance of the xenomorph varies depending on the face hugger's host. The human phenotype is generally around 7 to 8 feet and roughly 136 to 181 kilograms in weight, with a long muscular tail and large curved oblong head. The queen of this species is generally twice as large, and they can grow even larger sometimes, even up to 100 feet tall and stronger if given time. Although numerous varieties exist, the adult xenomorphs all tend to share some common traits. A vertebrate-like body, a protective exoskeleton, a long flexible tail, an elongated domed head with nearly invisible eyes near the mouth, and a toothed maw hiding a proboscis-like inner mouth. Little is known about their biology, but it is known that they eat with their inner or secondary mouths, not their outer mouths. This mouth is somewhat similar to the pharyngeal jaw of a moray eel. They also bleed an unknown and extremely corrosive fluoroantimonic acid type of fluid. It is yellowish green in colour and often referred to as blood, although whether it is used to transport nutrients through the body and or just serve simply as a defensive mechanism is not clear. While the extremely corrosive fluids and tremendous resilience displayed by the creature might suggest an alternative kind of biochemistry, the fact that the xenomorph not only feeds on humans, but actually develops inside them strongly suggests that its biology is carbon-based. The ability to inherit traits from its hosts also suggests that it incorporates genetic material from them, implying that the xenomorph either has DNA or is able to read and convert DNA into whatever means it uses to store genetic information. Xenomorphs appear to possess roughly similar intelligence to that of a typical primate, but have shown to learn relatively quickly, utilising the situation around their environment, although they do not demonstrate human-level intelligence as a species. The xenomorphs have a caste system similar to that of bees and ants. A major difference is that their caste system is far more complex. This piece is straight charcoal on watercolour paper. It took about three hours and is drawn from memory, so don't sweat me on any of the details. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more videos like this from me, please consider subscribing for more. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit that like button. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye for now.